Hello, in this video I'm going to do a demo of how to use Vocarium, which is um, the platform that you're going to use to submit your pre-class homework or pre-work. Um, so you, sh you should have received an email that looks like this. It says, Welcome to Vocarium with your login details. So I'm going to copy my password that I was given and then click on the link. And then I'm going to use... I'm going to paste in the password that I just copied there with the username or the email that I was registered with and then click sign in and I'll save that and then you're given some stuff to read and sign you can read it if you want okay so you're gonna be dropped into a screen like this this is the class homepage um, and here on the left you see four assignments these are your four um, homework assignments that we want you to do before um, enrolling in the class. So if I click on one, let's click on voters here, there's some instructions for what to do. And if you scroll down, this orange button will take you to a screen where you can work on the assignment. And I'm going to pull up those same instructions can be viewed in here. If I click that instructions button, these are the same instructions we were looking at on the previous page. And what it says is, okay, in my work directory, I should see a file called voters.js, and here it is. Here's my work directory, and here's that file. It says, open up that file and fill in the missing code. And then when finished, I can submit it. Um, so in this file, we're given more instructions on specifically what we're supposed to do. And so notice you can type in here. Um, before I even do that, I'm just going to submit without even doing anything. It says, are you sure you want to submit? And there's nothing scary about submitting in this case because you're allowed to submit as many times as you want. So let's just see what happens when I do that. Um, so what happened was it generated a report, and the report informs us on how we did. It says, your code did not pass. The following test cases failed. And then it goes on to list all the ways in which our code should have done one thing, but actually did another thing. So what your job is, is to um, put some code in here that's going to cause those um, tests to pass and I'll leave that up to you so one but before that one other thing two other things I want to talk about one is uh, as you can see here you should not change this line this is important for the tests to work if you don't have this line the tests aren't going to work so don't delete this line if you accidentally delete it you can put it back it's included right here. You can copy it and paste it back in. The other thing to note is we gave you this extra link here. If I go to a new window and copy that link in, this will take you to a JS bin document we made. JS bin just hosts uh, code. Um, so what this will allow you to do is here's the same starter code and it's nice because in here I can well for one thing it's it has syntax highlighting meaning that uh, the different components of the program are colored differently which makes it easier to just uh, visually kinda get a sense for what's going on the other nice thing is I can run my code and actually watch what happens and that's makes it much easier for me to play around with it and try to get it right. So I can change it and then run it again and see what happened when I changed it and then as soon as I'm ready to 
submit my work, I'll just copy this back over into here and paste it over what I had previously. And notice how I didn't paste over this part. So let's try that. I'm going to submit again. Who knows, maybe I'll get it right. Let's find out. You can see here it's telling us that it's in the process of generating the report. And unfortunately, I still have some work to do on this. Uh, back here in the home page, the last thing I want to show you is if you click this My Grade button, you can see the current status of your grades on the assignments. So currently, I have a zero on everything, and ideally, I want a one. Um, you'll get a one if all of your tests pass. So that's it for Vocarium. Good luck.